I'm in Katea. Thanks, Vern. You know, it's a little chilly down here today, but I can tell you one thing for certain. There's nothing cool about the rivalry between the two top teams in women's track and field. In Los Angeles, L.A. could well stand for laid-back attitude, a style-over-substance playland where nobody likes to rub anybody the wrong way, except when it comes to a couple of crosstown rivals. The rivalry is intense. I mean, you have two institutions who have two great programs that are nationally ranked, and we're so close in proximity. And it's not just track and field, it's all sports. The rivalry between UCLA and USC has grown over the years, especially in women's track and field. The rivalry between USC and UCLA is among the most storied in college sport, played out by men for decades, and now extending to these women, the top two track and field teams in the country. When UCLA um, dual meet comes around, we're just, it's, it's really intense. When you go out there on the field, you want to just, you want to rip their heart out. You're <laughs> like, you've got to beat them. The bad blood between the Bruins and Trojans began to boil earlier this year. First, UCLA barely won their dual meet. Then a controversial bump in the final event of the conference championship cost USC the Pac-10 title. This year would just be great if we can um, come out with a victory over UCLA. I know um, it'll be a tough time for everybody, but I hope we win. <laughs> The stakes couldn't be higher this time around. UCLA racing towards its first NCAA team title since claiming the first two women's crowns way back in 1982-83. USC looking to avenge last year's crushing second place finish. It just happens that both of us are well-balanced programs and uh, both of us have a chance and naturally we would like to win. We'd like to win very badly. There's still a com camaraderie there after the meet's over we all shake hug. I've been on a lot of teams with a lot of those people at UCLA. So, you know, we're friends and also we're not friends because you go to a different school. UCLA and USC friends? Nah, nobody in this town would touch that script. You know, adding some spice to this rivalry is the fact that USC, like so many schools now in the NCAA, has turned to recruiting in Eastern Europe while UCLA has really relied on American talent, all of which was on display the first three days of this competition. Thanks, Armin. With Angela Williams running leadoff and anchor Kinshasa Davis, a couple of homegrown Trojans, help the women of Troy to a second place finish in the 4x100 meter relay and eight valuable team points. But it was the Eastern Bloc contingent that did a lot of the early heavy lifting. Russia's Tatiana Ovakova, 10th a year ago in the triple, leaped to a third place finish this year with a jump of 43-1. Inga Stasoyante, a 19-year-old freshman from Lithuania, won the javelin with a toss of 172 feet, 4 inches. A year ago, Slovenia's Brigida Langerholtz finished 8th in the 800 meters, effectively costing the Trojans the team title. But this year, victory and redemption. Senior from Slovenia running for the University of Southern California, Brigida Langerholtz makes the man for the disappointment of a year ago. I'm so happy finally. <laughs> I did what I'm capable to do. Because last year I had such a bad luck. And that's why I'm more happy this year. So close a year ago, the Trojans had the look of a champion through the first three days. You're riding on the merry-go-round, it's time to grab the brass ring. You don't get those opportunities many times. Either in your career, or does a coach or his staff. Enjoy it while you can, and take advantage of it while you can. UCLA's title hopes got off to a rough start on the track. Sloppy stick work between Hasabi Rosie and Sheena Johnson on the first exchange of the 4x1 left the Bruins out of the final. And with no points. Things went from bad to worse for the freshman Johnson. She failed to qualify for the finals in the 400 meter hurdle, an event in which she was favored. Shaniqua Ross whipped the disc to a third place finish and six points. As usual, the Lady Bruin field event athletes are the backbone of the team. 2001 is no exception. Christina Tolson won the shot with a toss of 57 feet, three quarters of an inch. Tracy O'Hara, the collegiate record holder in the pole vault and the defending champion, managed only a tie for second place, but did grab seven points for the team to keep the Bruins in contention.